Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing well. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we are finally kicking off with our VGC Series 8 content. The rules are officially updated now. The new rank ladder rules start today, the 1st of February, so you can play around with all of these restricted Pokemon. And today we're going to be kicking off with an Ivelto team, one of the strongest Pokemon, in my opinion, that we've got access to in the new format. If you're unfamiliar with the Series 8 rules, there will be a link down in the description below and I'll just tag a video I did last week just overviewing the rules so you can get yourselves up to speed with everything uh, that will be coming into the format in the next few weeks and uh, get yourselves used to the new format because it's going to be very different to Series 7. Some similarities but some very big differences and those being the restricteds. Like I say, we're going to feature Eveltal today. Uh, we've got the Black Glasses variant. It is a special Eveltal. I think it's probably the best variant of Eveltal that we can run. Um, and then we've got a nice mix of Raichu. It's got the Lightning Rod to help support Eveltal in particular against things like Regieleki that could be a little bit problematic and Thunderous as well that could uh, pop up and cause us a few issues. And then we've got a spawn cast of Metagross. We've got the weakness policy there. We've actually put Brutal Swing on the Raichu as well. So we've got a way to sell proc as well as some nice speed control from Raichu, disruption through Fake Out and a uh, nice pivot there with Vault Switch. Uh, Metagross self-explanatory pairs up with Eveltal. Super nice. Gives us nice protection against against fairy types and um, with the weakness policy if we can get in a nice position it can do some really nice work then we got assault vest landerus got double intimidate there with the incinero and then kind of rounding off the team with tapu funny who provides a fairy type coverage as well for opposing dark types and gives us a little bit of protection from status moves especially for our more grounded pokemon like metagross that would be subjected to burns and things like that team's really nice i really love it uh, there'll be a poker pace down in the description below and as always we will throw the rental code up at the end of the episode so we'll talk through the team how it functions and things in a, in a couple of battles like we always do um hope you enjoy today's episode hope you enjoy the team if you try it out stick around to the end for that rental team and without further ado we'll jump into our first one today okay so first up we have a xerneas team and Colossal. Not the best things that Ivelto wants to be seeing but Xerneas, Gallade, Colossal, Sneasel, Indeedy and Alakazam. So we've got some Psy Spam there. We've got the Xerneas as the Restricted here. We've got um, Beat Up and Surf as a combination from the, the Sneasel that can't be faked out. Um, and it's going to surf onto the Colossal or beat up the Glade. Going to be a bit of an issue for our team, um, of course, because uh, one of the issues is <clears throat> we are not going to be able to stop that Sneasel doing very much. Um, hmm going to be difficult really uh the one thing that we do have against i guess uh, mm, whew, this is gonna be tough 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 um this is going to be very tough the sneasel colossal gives us all sorts of issues because we can't fake out the sneasel uh we're definitely going to see it come out um i kind of want to lead landorus because at least we're assault vested and we can kind of at least deal with Colossal Glade in a, a, in a decent roundabout way. If we can get maybe a nuzzle onto something, it'd be good. I think I'm going to have to bring Metagross and Eveltal in the back, though. Uh, if things go bad early game, um, against these sort of teams as well, if you make like one bad turn against this sort of uh, build because of the, the, the heavy setup that they've got, it can be very difficult to kind of come back from. So... Not the matchup that I wanted to kick us off into Series 8, but you kind of always want those challenges, don't you? You want to always have these challenges. And the thing is, with this sort of thing as well, you know, the the the, uh, the big thing about facing things that are scary to you is maybe like identifying problems in your own team build and thinking, wow, we kind of really lack an element to help us against the Sneasel stuff or the Colossal stuff or the beat up stuff, you know? So it's really good at just identifying things like that. And that's what the practice, that's what the beauty is about. It. Taking everything you can from these matches. Anyway, we have got Indudu and uh, Xerneas out. It's not really a lot we can do to stop the Geomancy. Um, and I think pretty much we probably want to get Metagross onto the field as soon as possible. That would be the big thing. Um... I wouldn't mind trying to get a nuzzle off into um i think what we'll do is we'll go for a u-turn into indeedy 
And we'll try and get a nuzzle off into Xerneas. If we can get the nuzzle off into it, that'd be amazing. But I don't know if we're going to be able to, yeah, because of the, the redirection there. But the, the, the paralysis onto the Ndidi's useful. Um, we need to get Metagross onto the field. The problem is now, uh, obviously, they're going to get a free Geomancy. Um, and the sooner we can get rid of the Ndidi, the better, in all honesty. Um, but, you know, we'll get Metagross in for free here. Uh, we will be able to get a Brutal Swing. We will, will be able to get our um, Weakness Policy activated, which is always useful. Um... Now, are they going to dazzle, razzle dazzle, or are they going to um, max? And these sort of teams are so awkward as well because, like, you prepare for the worst case scenario the colossal uh, sneasel, or the sneasel glade, and then this comes out. So, these teams are quite tricky to play against for sure. I think we go max steel spike. Mm, do we go Steel Spike? Oh, we have to go Steel Spike. We have to, because if they don't redirect or if they're paralyzed, then we kind of just clinch it. We'll definitely be able to guarantee at least a Brutal Swing off. Kind of hoping we see the Xerneas almost go for the Max and then into Metagross here, because then it means Raichu Sash is still intact, and it leaves us the next turn a bit of room to maybe nuzzle the Xerneas. They've got to be aware of that, though, so we may see... Just a dazzling gleam to try and get rid of the the Raichu, and uh, uh, follow me. I feel like I'm pulling the trigger early, but we need the extra bulk in, in this situation. Like Xerneas is not a Pokemon that you can just allow to uh, to get set up and like be left unpunished. It's just a scary Pokemon. As much as people are saying it's not so much of a threat in this format, it's still a huge threat. You know, it's still a huge threat. So, yeah, going for the Dazzle. Once rid of that Raichu. See, still doing a chunk. Like, that's resisted. Still doing a massive chunk to uh, to Metagross. It's a pity the uh, Brutal Swing there can't deal with the uh, the DD. But we do get Metagross powered up, which is useful. And we do have Landorus in the back with the Assault Vest. Now, that the, the aim of this game is to try and uh, remove the Xerneas. And then it frees up Eveltal to kind of just win this game out. Also depends on what my opponent brings in uh, to partner the DD, uh, the, the Xerneas after the DD goes down. We do get a defense boost, which is always useful. Um, but we're in that kind of situation now where does my opponent max and go after the, the Metagross or do they just click the Dazzle again? Ooh. Now this ties our, this pulls our, this pulls our attention each way, you know. Um, they're going to Dazzle, and I think they're going to Max Colossal, I would imagine. We have to go after the, the Call. We have to Nuzzle the Zern. And going after the Colossal anyway, we're going to get... You know, the worst case scenario here is that they um, they Max and Max Guard. And we don't get a special defense boost. We take even more damage from the Xerneas than we would have with the defense boost that we'll get from the Max uh, Quake. But they are gone. A max and something. It looks like it'll be the Colossal. Ah, uh, hi. There's no way it takes a plus two max quake, though. So as long as it doesn't max guard, we're, we're all right. I just fear the max guard. Oh, Zern protects. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Okay, well... We get to uh, we get to live another day now, because Metagross doesn't have to deal with Max Xerneas anymore. Plus two uh, attack, plus one defense, plus one special defense. We're sitting in a pretty nice spot. We still got Lando on the back and Eveltal as well. We might not even get to see Eveltal in this one, but you know Metagross is in this team for this specific reason, helping us deal with Xerneas. Um, it's it, it's not something to like scoff at at all. It's not something to say. It's a really bad Pokemon in this format. It's definitely not, you know. It's still a very good Pokemon. Um, okay. I think, yeah, we'll just sack. Sack Raichu. We'll try and get a Nuzzle into the Xerneas. Um, but I expect Raichu to go down here. 
I, we'll see Dazzle and I don't know what the Glade's going to do, but it's not really in a position to get kind of powered up. I think maybe as well my opponent would have been probably better going for the Sneasel Colossal setup. I think that's the thing that would have given us a lot of issues. Um, we do get the Nuzzle. Not so useful now, but there's a Drain Punch coming out. Doing zero damage from the Glades, unfortunately. Not got that beat up to kind of support at this time, as we are able to just... Just what? You know, after playing like 2016 formats, 2019 formats, it's so satisfying. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that is even more satisfying. Don't know why you'd rage quit. Don't know why. Don't know why. The salt. Get the salt out, boys. Get the salt out. <laughs> um. Well, I was about to say it was so satisfying to take down Azernius. Uh, like that because it's been so dominant for so long, but uh, that makes it all the better. Good game to my opponent. Good game, sir, and I hope wish you well in the rest of your endeavors. Uh, do we want to check that team out? Not really, uh, and we'll move on to our next one, friends. Okay, so up next we have a team with Glaring Slow Brawl, Hatterene, Indeedy, Tapulele, Galade, and the Shadow Rider. Calyrex. So, uh, the restricted going to be that Cheddar Rider Calyrex, um, brand new into Sword and Shield, brand new to Series 8, very strong, very fast Pokemon, um, going to be difficult to deal with for sure. Um, have we got any beat up here? I don't know. Does Calyrex get beat up? It would make sense with something like Gallade, but Gallade also gets something like Wide Guard that definitely helps against that sort of uh, thing. Right, I think here I, I know exactly what I want to do, but the problem is I kind of want to go Raichu Metagross here, but the Calyrex gives us all sorts of problems. Eveltal helps us out a bunch here, for sure. Um, now we can go Eveltal. I think Raichu helps us out as well uh, for the fact that we've got at least Nuzzle to maybe slow down Calyrex if we want. I think Metagross is going to be very useful in this match and being able to change the terrain is definitely going to be something useful. Although we don't have a great matchup against Galarian Slowbro if we do see that come out from my opponent's end. So we have to just be very careful I think. Um, yeah, Calyrex Ghost Rider is insanely strong. I've built a team around it. I'll be featuring it later this week. I'm very excited about that Pokemon as well. I think it's got a lot of potential. Uh, its base speed is just ridiculous. And its Astro Barrage uh, spread attack is just nuts. Like, you can max do loads of damage. And if you keep it on the field long enough, you can just spam Astro Barrage. And then you're going to get those um, Grim Nair boosts over and over and over again, which is just crazy it's it, like literally crazy okay so this isn't actually too bad to be honest uh we've got um indeedy out with Gallade. see the psychic train come up so we can't make use of our fake out but that's not the worst thing in the world we know that raichu is going to be the fastest thing on the field we do have the option to go for some sort of speed control now and go for an oblivion wing i think into Gallade. Mm, is that the best idea Gallade does have trick room as well so we might be better off just not maxing, going for an Oblivion Wing, and uh, I think just Vault switching out as well, because it's likely we're going to see Follow Me here. I think Follow Me Trick Room makes a lot of sense. Um, no Follow Me though, which is interesting. Okay, so I think what we'll do first of all, um, do we get Metagross onto the field, or do we get Tapu Fini? Uh, <sighs> it's going to be better in the long run. Probably Finny right now because then we've got a nice switch into Metagross the next turn. We're going to be able to remove the Galeta. We're not seeing a Follow Me, which is which is very strange. Um, and Ivelto going to be able to outspeed uh, Galade. So I don't know what the uh, Indeedee is going to be doing here. But we will soon find out as we get our Oblivion Wing off. Um, yeah, so the Aveltal I've got, um, obviously Snarl, Heatwave, and Oblivion Wing are the moves. So it's kind of acting, it can act as an offensive support Pokemon, but it can also, oh, Dazzling Gleam. Not something the Aveltal wants to see, but because of the bulk that we got there, um, it, does, it doesn't take too much damage. And we do have access to Snarl as well, which is a super nice option. Um, now the Grim Rider coming out. Can't utilize any expanding force obviously got that as one ability which has got a nerve and it's grim near ability but we are going to be able to just snarl our way through this um is it time to 
maybe make a switch. Like, because the one thing I want to do is be able to nuzzle the um, the Shadow Rider, which is... I don't know if it's worth going for Calm Mind here. I mean, Calm Mind's going to be useful in the long run, probably. So we'll click in Calm Mind. I've went for a more offensive Finny in this team as well. For the sole fact that we really lack ways to hit other dark types. And I feel like um, a support Finny would work really nice. Something with... Um, uh, what am I saying? Something with uh, Heal Pulse would be super nice. But at the same time, I think... Um, I'm worried here about the Hyper Beam. <laughs> this is what worries me. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Here we are. Ivalto getting dropped like that. Well, that's not so good. Uh, that is really not so good at all. Um, the Calm Mind is obviously helping save our bacon here. We do have Metagross in the back, but we really need to get a nuzzle onto this uh, this Shadow Rider because that is going to be our only hope. We do have the, the ability to fake out uh, Indeedy here. And we kind of got to hope that my opponent doesn't go for uh, a follow me here because of the fake out pressure. And we'll try and get a nuzzle off into it. Ah, oh, we can't nuzzle because of the bloody terrain. Um, no, we can't. We can't nuzzle. The only thing we can do is maybe max. Oh, we're in a real bind. We're in a, a super bad bind. A bad spot, indeed. Um, <sighs> we need to get rid of the terrain, to be honest. I might have to just Volt Switch out and go Max and go for Max. Uh, Volt the Geyser into. Um, Things aren't looking good because we need to deal with the, like if we can get rid of Calyrex Shadow Rider, then we can then Metagross has got a free time. Didn't expect the uh, Starfall coming out from um, Calyrex. It makes it even more of a threat now for bringing those dark types to kind of be the check against it because you can't just you can't yeah okay well please go after Raichu Max Mindstorm okay if you go after Finny that's better we could have nuzzled. Still, there's so much damage after. <laughs> after, um, oh my god, it's nuts. Okay, well, let's see what this does. I'm hoping we don't see. Yeah, it's not, it's a bit unfortunate that because we needed to go for the nuzzle. I didn't expect the mindstorm to come up, but, um, well, Metagross, maybe our only hope in the late game. Let's see what the geyser damage does. Plus one. Probably not going to be enough. Nowhere near enough. It's too bulky. We do have the rain supporting us this next turn, I guess. Um, but the psychic terrain is up. And they're probably going to be able to nuke us. Um, our only hope is, I think, get Raichu in for free. Max guard. Hopefully Raichu doesn't take any damage. Like, we need Raichu to come in and take no damage here. That is the big thing. Because if Raichu comes in and takes damage, then we're in a bit of a bind going into this next turn. We needed to attack into Tapu Fini here. Uh, and we need, like, a helping hand. Okay, redirections, fine. Um, just don't go after the Metagross. Max Phantasm, you're going after the Raichu. Okay. We need the nuzzle. We need the nuzzle like 100% into the um, into the Shadow Rider. Hoping now. Uh, this is a problem. The Astral Barrage. It's just going to spam us. It's just going to spam us. But. And then it's down to Metagross to kind of win this game for us. If we can. I, we're going to see a helping hand Astral Barrage here. That's the problem. And I think it's probably going to be enough to take us down. I'm going to go for a Starfall. Just because I want the terrain to change. Yeah, helping hand Astral Barrage. We're done. We're done for. We are done. Oh 
we survive! Finny survives! Come on, Finny. Okay. You get the Grim Nair boost, but this should knock it out. And then we got Metagross left. I don't like the horse already. The horse the horse with max uh, Starfall is just nasty. They've obviously sacrificed the um, the Max Quake, which is understandable. Like it's a good option, I think. It, it means it takes away the the a way for you to deal with things like Incineroar, which can be a little bit problematic. But I think with the rise of things like a Veltal uh, in the format, it's probably not a bad idea to um, to run something like that because it just gives you the access to nuke that nuke like uh, Urshifu like straight up and uh, we're in a not bad spot now because we'll be able to muddy water take down uh, the DD and Iron Head should be enough to get rid of the hat and uh, this is going to be such a close game actually no no way are we going to be able to um we have to muddy water. They'll get damage. We need to take down the Indeedy here. And then we'll probably see Trick Room. But with the rain up, we're in a decent spot. So Mystic Fire is still not going to be that much of an issue. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Hit the Indeedy. Okay, we hit the right one, which is okay. Kind of want to hit. Like, you never want to see... Ah, oh, muddy water missing. There's a Trick Room. Yeah. At least the Psychic Terrain's not up, which is a plus. Um, I think we'll go for another Iron Head and we'll protect Finny this turn. I'll probably see another Follow Me. I don't think the Hat can beat Metagross though. Even in Trick Room. Like it shouldn't be able to. So we should be kind of alright, I think. I think. Man. The horse is just ridiculous. The horse is like scary it's a scary pokemon the fact that it's so versatile as well with so many different options it's got like trick room it's got like i'm sure it's got encore obviously will-o-wisp and things like that it's just a nasty pokemon to uh to be dealing with and especially when you know your main checks your dark type restricted like Yvelta, and we're like yeah we're fine against this it's got nothing that can hit us except maybe hyper beam that could be a little bit of an issue um but we should still take that and then the Max Starfall comes out, pops us and drops us. And uh, we're not laughing after that. But the team overall, I'm pleased it's kind of been able to kind of come out and um, do some work here. Because uh, even in this like really difficult uh, scenario where we found ourselves, we've been able to come out and, and pick up a win, which is good. Obviously, the Finney's helped out a bunch with its um, Calm Mind boost that we got. So that was that was kind of pivotal there. We survived that, got rid of the horse, and then the rest of the match was kind of easy enough for us to, um, to kind of play out but a uh, very good game to my opponent and uh really enjoyable hope you enjoyed it and we'll jump over and get that rental team for you right now friends right friends here is the rental for today's team i'm a little bit sad that we didn't really get to see too much of evelto obviously didn't perform much in that first game that we had and then in the second one obviously got dropped very early on uh, other than that though evelto very strong pokemon you know uh we didn't really get to see the utility of snarl there there's obviously other options on evelto uh obviously dark pulse an option foul play an option uh, but I do like the coverage that the fire gives us in this one especially against things like Zacian uh, that aren't carrying play rough and things like that it gives you a nice option there and obviously with the Raichu it's invaluable to the entire team the um, the support you can get with Nuzzle is incredible so um, it's it's just generally a very nice build I feel very comfortable with it and I hope if you do try it you uh, have a good time with it on the ladder if you do as always let me know down in the comment section below um, but we'll wrap things up there friends have a great rest of your day thank you as always for tuning in hope you've enjoyed today's episode we'll be back with more series 8 content very soon and more rental teams for you to uh, have a try with and uh, until then take care of yourselves and bye bye